What's up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest early build of the Havoc OS based on Android 10 for this Redmi Note 5 Pro and I just flashed it right now and this is not a review or something but this is just to show you guys what is in here. So let me show the Android version section. On top you have the Havoc OS logo up top as you can see and if you tap on the Android version here is the Android 10 option and the security patch you get over here is latest October 6th 2019 and the Havoc OS version shows as 3 and this is the 25th October 2019 build. The stock kernel is Dirt Test Plus kernel and here is the build number. Now let me quickly go back and show you the system. Well, you won't find the gesture options over here and let me tell you how was my flashing experience right now. Well, the ROM itself is kind of around 650 MB. So it is without gapps. The ROM file itself is without gapps. You have to download the gapps separately. I have flashed the recommended bit gapps, which is around 90 MB. So it is pretty less, but I have not signed it yet. So how to flash this ROM if you ask me, well, you just need to be on the Pi firmware and Pi firmware supported TWRP. And once you are in there, just like wipe cache Dalvik system data. And once you have wiped those things, go to install, flash the ROM file, the gapps file and reboot. You will be greeted directly into the home screen. There is no setup or something like that as of right now at least. It was the same case with the AOS IP ROM which I tried earlier, did not make a video about it though. but. I am making a video about this have a quest because there are customizations and stuff like those. So let me show you one by one. Well this is how the quick settings panel or the quick toggle panel looks like kind of like oxygen OS. Flashlight and stuff everything is working. The stock camera here is MIUI camera. So that is great and by default you get these many apps. As you can see there are not a lot. So let me quickly go into the settings and show you guys the settings panel. This is how it looks like. Pretty simplistic. And there is this configuration center where you will find all the customizations. Here it shows some goodies you just can't live without. Yeah, I guess I can't. So in the status bar, there is double tap to sleep and it works. That's great. And here is the fingerprint scanner speed. It kind of takes a moment to like unlock. And there is network traffic indicator. Status bar icons option is there but I cannot find the Vaulty logo as of right now. So yeah, there is this 4G icon instead of LTE and dashboard icons and stuff is there. So let me go back in the quick settings panel. There is style like title. Then there is vibrate on touch toggle and you have the column and row number customization. And in the ambient display, there is battery level on the bottom. Then always on display is there. Always on while charging is there. New notifications, I have enabled it. And double tap to check phone is there. Lift to check phone is there. Hand wave and pocket detection is there if you want to use those. And even always on is there. So that is a good thing if you are really into it. And in the button section, there is power menu and advanced reboot option is there. And even on the lock screen, there is advanced reboot option. And I did try this advanced reboot options from here. As you can see, there is advanced reboot. You can directly reboot to recover your fast boot or like directly reboot the system UI itself. So this works super fine, no issues whatsoever. And there is screen of power button torch and this one works too. Let me show you. I have locked the screen and right now, as you can see, power button toggling torch is like working flawlessly. So that is great and volume rocker customization is there if you are really into these kind of things. Then we have the gestures and here you will find this system navigation gesture where from where I enabled this Android 10 kind of gesture navigation but there is also two button and three button navigation so that's a good thing. And jump to camera option is there, swipe to take screenshot is there so as you can see it did take this screenshot and it works flawlessly. The three finger screenshot gesture I mean and navigation bar option is there if you're using it you can invert the layout from here and lock screen customization is there there is double tap to sleep and media artwork and stuff force fingerprint authentication so this is really a good thing that even after the reboot you don't have to enter your pin or password you can just directly tap your fingerprint scanner and it will unlock the device now here we have this fingerprint authentication vibration, error vibration and charging info as well is there. So the charging info I tested, it does show up in the lock screen. And in the notification section, we have the heads up disabling option, then force close notification option and vibrate on call waiting and connect or disconnect options are there. So in call vibrations are there. But let me tell you that in the in call UI, there is no call recording option yet, but faulty calling do work super fine right now. And in the animation section, there is blank, nothing in there. 
in the system it is blank too and battery saving yes we have some battery saving enabler option and in the misc settings we have the disabling wake up on charge option so that is all and if you go to about you will see the developers name and stuff so do donate them if you really want this development to like keep going on and in the battery settings we have the battery percentage as you can see it just did show up as you can see and smart charging option is there and the battery life i am not sure about right now that how will be the battery life of this rom not quite sure because i just flashed this rom like 30 minutes ago so yeah now let me show you did i show you the display settings no so night light option is there and it works let me go back then there is live display you can change the color calibration like mode over here rgb full control you have then let me go back screen timeout option is there then there is display size screen saver lock screen display etc double tap to wake is there and double tap to sleep on the status bar does work fine too but double tap to wake shows like this you can just like swipe up and it will work let me just like put my fingerprint and style and wallpaper option is there so you can customize the whole ui over here and there is this dark theme it should work and it works as you can see let me turn it off then accent color option is there a lot of accent color option you will get even red and stuff is there let me choose red and as you can see it turned into red you can like give it a look of like oxygen os kind of from here so that is great and headline and body fonts option is there total of five fonts over here and icon shape options are there too now let me go back in the sound settings there is vibrate for calls and you have lot of like sound disabling option if you get annoyed with the notification sound and stuff you can really disable most of them like dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound charging vibration touch sounds touch vibration and screenshot sound as well there is option for disabling it but i have noticed this problem sometimes that if i tap the fingerprint scanner it doesn't work suddenly and the whole screen becomes unresponsive and as you can see if i press the power button and swipe up it does not unlock even the power menu does not work and the volume buttons does not appear either so the touches simply does not work so at this moment i had to force reboot by holding the power button so what do i think about this rom well i would say this is the first build of the havoc os i think still unofficial so don't expect much of the things but considering this is the first build of the havoc os android 10 I feel this is a pretty great ROM to begin with and let me show you the stock launcher this is the pixel launcher and if you go into the settings you'll find very simplistic like stuff there is no customizations at all but like if you swipe down anywhere on the home screen you will get to the quick settings panel but there is no double tap to sleep or something anywhere in the home screen so do not expect those. So that was my quick impressions about this Havoc OS Android 10 based ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Let me know what do you guys think about this ROM if you are really willing to flash it or not. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Do share this video out with your friends and family if you like this video. And subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.